What I have here is a digital tachometer. It uses a laser beam to count revolutions and a, some reflective surface. Uh, could be a scratch, could be some white masking tape, which seems to work fine. And then it has a memory function where you hold it once and it tells you the upper RPM of the range, and you hold it a second time and it tells you the lower RPM of the range, which is all fine and good. But in the application I'm looking for, I need continuous on. So I'm hoping that I can open it up and modify this unit, put in a rocker switch or a toggle switch, something that will allow me to turn it on and leave it on until I'm done, and it'll check and count the entire time. So there are four screws, two in the nose here, two under the battery cover, at which point the back cover lifts straight off. Inside the unit, we have a simple circuit board and two hold-down screws, two leads that go to the battery compartment, and then the nose LED, which is actually attached way back here, leaving this whole stretch of the LED uh, free and open for damage, so be careful with that. The front nose piece just clips in and clips off. So a close-up of the board. You got this, this big IC here. You got a couple of uh, flush-mounted transistors and resistors. This is the laser diode, and then of course this is the photo uh, LED. It's probably picking up the laser light bounce back, would be my guess of what's happening. But. So in here we got a momentary push button switch, and it is through soldered. So we're going to need to find out what its power side is. I believe I can leave this in place and tap a lead off of both sides. I cannot easily get at it, or let's just say straight up, I can't get at it to unsolder it from the board because uh, it's under the IC. So I'm going to see if I can figure out which of these, because it should just be power flowing through, I think. I think it just energizes the system, de-energizes the system. So if I find that, I can tap those two, go to an external switch, energize, de-energize the system, and even if both switches are pushed, electricity will just go through the shortest one. So it'll just go through the momentary. It'll be fine. If my theory on how this works is correct, this switch has power going to it all the time, and then when it's pushed, it energizes the unit. So I'm going to check here and see if I've got 9 volts at any of these terminals. 5 volts, 5 volts, nothing, nothing. What I'd like to do is solder leads on and then just go to a toggle switch. Huh? What's the worst thing can happen? I blow it up. I'm curious what the switch does when energized. What about when it's pushed? 5 volts. Five volts at both, both the bottom side. So there with my leads on, let's give her a test. All right, so we're, we're successful. I just did those two right there. When this is mounted in here, it goes kind of like that. I think there's plenty of room to mount the switch right here on the side. It won't be in the way and it'll still fit in the case hopefully without knocking and turning it on accidentally so it just burns the battery up there. And I'll have to find a way to get these wires on the other side. Well, did it by yourself on this wall, Daddy? Oh, I did it by myself, bud. It looks pretty. Well, thank you. Pretty simple after that. Here is my little toggle. It's not super little. It's just, uh, well, it's the smallest one I have handy. And then there is my spot and it's going to go in right here and then lay flat which will put it out right there out the side so that ought to work yeah that ought to work fine now just try to find a way to curl all those little wires up in there without damaging anything so here's the finished unit it'll still work normally off the test button just press and hold and the memory 
still works normally and then it'll come on and stay on which is what I was looking for out of the unit but to purchase one that had the option of a constant on you had to get one of the fancy well let's face it you had to get one of the nice ones it was like 150 bucks or better and they didn't all have it here this was twelve dollars and some time and it still fits in the case just fine proof is in the pudding let's go test the rpm on something so here's the unit i have the record up to some rpm let's test it normally showing 1900 and dropping We bring it up here, memory function, highest recorded was 1933, lowest recorded was 1757. Now let's tie it with our new switch. There we go, constant on, 1575. Twenty nine fifty seven. Now we hold the memory down. Highest recorded twenty nine fifty seven. Lowest fifteen seventy three. So the unit works perfectly with our new continuous on switch. That right there was about a hundred dollar modification. Can you be quiet, please?